Hello guys, in this video I'll show you guys how to import schematic files inside your Minecraft worlds. It actually works on both Java and Bedrock Edition Minecraft platforms. If you don't know what is schematic files are, it's actually a very large structure file. Typically, Minecraft only supports 60 block structures, right? And most large builds need some even higher blocks. That's where the schematic files or similar structure files are coming into play. To import such files, you need a world editor. The amulet is one of the best world editors that you can use for all your world's editing needs, both for Java and Bedrock. First, you need to download the required files, which is your structure files and the amulet world editor. I have mentioned the download links in the description below so you guys can download from there. Once you downloaded the program, extract the amulet world editor to the different drive and import your Minecraft world inside the software. Later you have to click the 3D editor and locate where you want to import the structure file and click import and select your structure file and click open. And you will see the structure files inside your world editor. You can even rotate the structure file from the sidebar options. And finally, once you place the build in the correct location, click confirm. But one thing you have to remember is that your world must needs to be pre-generated. Otherwise, you may see some chunk broken issues. As you guys can see, it's a brand new world and I didn't explore the area as much well. Which means some of the area is not actually generated. So if I place this building structure, nearby chunks may look like it's been broken. But you will see the build perfectly important. But chunks might be look like that. To solve these issues, you should pre-generate your world before importing the structure. But if you imported it already and having the chunk issues, then you can fix that in this same program. For that, you need to load the world in the same world editor and then click the chunk button and you have to select the broken chunks and click delete. So you have to be precise, otherwise it might also remove the nearby builds. Once it's been removed, you can save the world and exit the program and load the world inside the Minecraft and check the results. I hope this helps you guys, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.